to Tennessee we go. Huh. Well, Kentucky, you were lovely. Thank you. So I am heading to a campground at Land Between the Lakes Recreation Area in Tennessee here. And uh, yeah, the storms are developing around me. I pulled up the My Radar app and yep, sure enough, they're just like nothing turning into a big storm and going like that. So yay! This will be another lovely afternoon in my van. See those clouds up there? I think they mean business. There's a lake. There's the land between this lake and apparently another lake. I'd say I'm getting close. This is the city of Dover. How cute. Made it to the Land of the Lakes National Recreation Area. This is Piney Campground. I'm going to check it out. Basic and dispersed camping. It's very, very pretty, very foresty. I love it. Alrighty. Camper check in right lane. You must register when entering. Piney Campground. Okay, right lane, huh? Not a day use area. Only visitors and registered campers. Remain in your vehicle. Wow, they got some serious rules. Unregistered vehicles and camper check in. Please exit vehicle to register. How weird. I. All right, well, check-in was easy and breezy. They uh, assigned me a site. So I'm going to go check it out. Yes, I paid the camp again, y'all. Don't give me a hard time. <laughs> One thing, it's been so cloudy and so rainy for the last, I don't know, week, it seems like. I haven't gotten even a full charge on my solar there, so. Might as well. I'm on vacation. So this place is huge. Check out the playground. Little outpost camping supplies. Campfire theater. There's supposed to be lots of birding and fishing. You have archery. Archery range there. Apparently. Hopefully there'll be signs telling me which way to go to my campsite. Black O Blue. Yep, I think that's the one I want. No parking on the grass. Okay. I guess this is a pretty popular campground. They had some pretty interesting signage up there. Um, it said, you can't bring a tent and then later replace it with an RV. So you have to sleep in whatever you brought. I guess people will come and put a tent up to save a site for days and then they will um, later bring an RV and a whole bunch of people. So she said it doesn't work that way. Yep, there's a lot of kayakers. Check out this setup. Alright, so far so good at this little campground. Very, very quiet. Nothing but birds. A couple of boats every now and then, but yeah, beautiful. As I suspected, yeah, nobody's come out of their house, so, um, yep. These people sure do have some awful nice setups, though, I tell ya. They sure do. So, yep, I read the directions thoroughly, all of the, the rules of the campground, and nowhere on it did it say anything pro or con on the drone situation. So... How's about we go out there and check a couple things out? Wanna? So I only have one bar on my phone and it said that the storms are like all around us but not about to hit me so I'm gonna try to fly the drone real quick and hope that that radar's right. Yep, 
Let's make this quick. Here we go. fun so yeah while I was flying my drone I was paying attention to the little island out there and I looked up and I almost hit a tree guys these trees are so tall so I did what I remember what Jason told me when in doubt go up <laughs> so I went up I went up as high as it would go so I hope you got a good view what you didn't see was the tree limb just about two feet behind the drone uh, yeah I need to be more careful with that Anyway, and then a fisherman was out there. He was fixing to go fishing, and he saw me, and he stopped, and he watched. And then he came over and talked to me for a little while. It was very cool, very cool, very cool indeed. So I'm not sure what's going on with the clouds up here today. They're just kind of all around us, booming and banging, you know, not too loud, but off in the distance you can hear the rumbles. So I don't know. It could hit. Maybe it won't. So, yep, I'm going to sit here in this here chair and read a book for about an hour or so. And then think about some dinner. Yep, real nice park. Real nice indeed. I'll reserve the rating till in the morning though, you know. Yep, this is the life. I could, I could do this for a living. If y'all ever see an ad out for somebody to hold down a chair by a lake, holler at me, I want that job. <laughs> uh, you think you're gonna get in my van? You think there's food in there? You are one friendly little bird. Yep, here we go again. <laughs> Evening thunder showers. That could be worse. Hey, at least I'm getting my windshield washed. Somewhere in Kentucky, there's a pink elephant. Huh. Well, you don't see that every day. <laughs> 